Stanford University. You are clear. Copy that. We're getting started now. I would say that it went fantastic. I think the best part of today is that we were able to get a fantastic opportunity to spread the message about what we're doing and show people just how cool science and engineering can be. Systems that will use all of the available friction on the road to help you stay out of trouble, to be able to make a turn that you took too quickly, or to be able to regain control when you're going to spin. Uh, while also getting to do a lot of testing. I would wager that we probably put somewhere between 10 and 20 miles of test time on the car today running around the oval. And uh, when you're planning on running a car up Pikes Peak, that's a really important thing to do is, you know, to see how all the controllers are operating, how the hardware is behaving, and, and figure out where the bugs are and start squashing them. All we would need to do would be to, to swap swap the blue antenna there and then we could use our other antenna system. The idea when you're racing a car is you want to get as much force out of the tires as you can at all times. So when you're in the straightaways you want to be accelerating as hard as you can and then as you get towards the corner you want to be braking as hard as you can and then as you're in the center of the corner you want to be using all that force to turn the car. And then, you know, rinse and repeat. As you're coming out of the corner, you want to start accelerating. When you're on the straight, you want to go as hard as you can. You felt that when we were accelerating on the straights. So Pikes Peak Hill Climb has been going on since 1916, and it really represents one of the ultimate challenges for, for both the car and the driver. And we'd like to be able to race up that uh, hill climb stretch uh, autonomously with, without having a driver in the car at all. The oval that we've chosen, the curvature on the two turns, roughly approximates some of the turns that we'd be seeing on Pikes Peak, some of the tighter turns, in fact. Um, so we're definitely getting a sense for how the car will behave when we take it to the mountain. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.